Hi everyone, Jean Guy here, your host once again for Frenchie's Nook. I know it's not Friday, but uh, I decided to bring you a special episode today just to uh, give you an example of uh, perseverance. What to do after you've been caught in an episode or two or three and uh, you're feeling buried down and lugged down. Well, um, I've just come off, uh, come back from a couple episodes quite to, quite in a row back to back and um, I've been in a house for a couple of days so I decided that today Today was going to be my perseverance today. Today I was going to get off my ass, get out of the house, and go do something and see something that's that's uh, that's awesome in our city. Well, where did I come to? Well, if anybody you may notice, those of you who live in Stratford probably know exactly where I am. I am in Upper Queens Park. I am just to the east of the Stratford Main Stage Festival, which I will uh, show you in a couple minutes, and I'm just up the hill from the infamous Avon River that uh, flows through Stafford. Well, what is perseverance? Does everybody have it in them? When do you need to use it? And when do you need to give in? Well, perseverance. Does everybody have it in them? I think everybody's got a little bit of it in them for sure. Um, how can you dig down and get that perseverance? Well, you first need to recover. You first need to get over the episode. I'm sorry, I hate to use the term get over but uh, I'm using it very loosely. You need to work through um, the situation or the trigger episode that you were in and uh, you need to remember that it's gonna be okay. You need to remember that these things are gonna happen. No matter how many good days you have in a row, chances are there, there's gonna ha come another bad one. Um, I hate to be negative about it, but uh, in this battle of PTSD, that's what happens. That's what we counter on a day-to-day -day basis. A couple good, one bad, few bad, one good, too bad. It, it doesn't matter. This is not our beast. And um, unfortunately, if you don't got all the tools in your toolbox, this is not our beast to control either. This guy, this beast is, you know, this is the one you can't see. This is the one that uh, jumps on your back. Um, you know, go to bed at night, great sleep, get up in the morning, at this freaking beast on your back and you're like what the hell I had a great night I don't understand you know what beast doesn't care PTSD doesn't care doesn't care what you're doing doesn't care where you're going doesn't care who you're seeing it doesn't care if it's a situation you've been in before or a situation that's new to you it's not gonna matter it's gonna rear its ugly head and it's gonna take you by the it's gonna take you by the hair and it's gonna show you who the boss is this is where you have to show it the boss and who you are and what you are doing well is this as easy as it sounds not as easy as it sounds no what tools do you need in your toolbox well you need quite a few but uh, my suggestion is you uh you start by maybe some meditating start by recovering some quiet time and uh you'll see You'll uh, need the quiet time. Some of you guys may need uh, some, some therapy to get through it. Some of you guys may just be able to do it on your own by now. And uh, for myself, I can uh, you know, get through it and within a certain amount of time. I'm not very quick at it yet, but uh, you know, you work at it and you work at it and work at it. And eventually the bad days are just not quite as bad anymore. But you know what? You're gonna get them. Like I said before, you're gonna get them and they're gonna be shit. But you got to remember that there is good days around the corner too. And you got to wait out and hold out for those too. So take the bad day, make the bad day the best you can. And remember guys, bad days can't, not just Mondays, right? I, the whole stereotype of Mondays, you know what? Let's, let's, make, let's make Mondays our bitch, you know? Screw Mondays. Let's make Mondays a new Friday. I don't care what day it is, right? Some people work all throughout the week, it doesn't matter. Mondays, Fridays, it doesn't matter to them. So I say, let's make a Monday and a Friday the same. Let's just do it. You know, all week. We, look, we wake up every morning and we look forward to each day the same as every other one. I know people are going to have things to do. People have exciting trips and stuff planned. But you know what? One day in, one day out. It's a day. Let's make every one of them just as fun. On that note, how to stride through. Where... When, when do people give in? Like what? Well, people are gonna get, give in at their most vulnerable. People are gonna give in when they feel tired, when they're exhausted, when they just can't feel like they can fight anymore. Why do I say this? Well, it's happened. 
It's happened to me. It's happened to other people I know. It's happened to other PTSD sufferers that I know. So why give in? If you're if you're fighting, what what makes you stop? Well, as I said before, the beast, the one that's crawling on your back there, scratching the heck out of you. He's a he's a nasty one, and when he wants to uh, when he wants to make you appreciate him a little more, he gets a little tougher, a little more aggressive. Throws different things at you. Throws a sideball at you. Throws a knuckleball at you. You don't know what's coming, but you know what? If you've got the tools in your toolbox, you know how to deal with them. You know how to catch them, and you know what to do whenever they're on their way. Is it that easy to um, to work through a PTSD episode? No. Um, most of the time, you can catch yourself alone, which is great. If you can get yourself alone, even better. Um, unless you're in a state where you can't be alone, then I understand, you know, make your way to emergency, uh, medical facility, doctor, hospital, somewhere. But uh, if you can, you know what? Step outside onto the porch, onto the patio, onto the stoop. I don't care what it is. Open the door. This time of year, especially in North America and Canada, our days are pretty nice. Constant breeze usually. And uh, open the door. Look outside. What do you see? See the outside. I know, sounds pretty corny. But it's just that one step. That one step is all you need. And then you're outside. I don't struggle very often um, making my way outside. It seems to be, I can still pretty much handle it outside. The only, uh, the only issues that I normally have now are groups of people. Um, groups of people moving around, not so big of a deal. Groups of people in one spot where uh, my access to get out is a lot tougher. That's what troubles me. So, work through what is, what is a trigger, what's perseverance, how to work through it, how not to give up on it. Easier said than done, I understand. But you know what? The more and more you fight this thing, the more and more, whenever it comes back, it'll come back a little less stronger every time. Not to say it'll ramp itself up, but you know what? We keep fighting it, and it'll keep backing down, hopefully, and we will work through this. Trust me, we're going to find a way to figure this out. The doctors are on our side. People are on our side. We need to, we need to make sure that the funding is there so that we can figure out this, not only PTSD, but any mental health, uh, any mental health illness. So, myself, I will be this Saturday, May the 12th, at Nathan Phillips Square at noon for the second annual March for Mental Health. You can be there as well. Pop in, check things out. There's gonna be some speakers there, and then there's a march. Uh, the march is planned for a couple hours, and it'll take place around the city. And uh, I, I suggest anybody that wants to come along, anybody that wants to take part, come on in. And um, it should be an interesting time. I would uh, love to show you some pictures of the festival here. So I am going to get my camera turned around. And I'm going to show you what, uh, what it looks like up here before I disappear. But uh, I know I kind of caught you off guard. But I decided that uh, today would be a uh, video shoot day. And uh, what a better day to do it. I'm making my way towards the uh, festival, festival main stage here. I'll take a shot of it and then uh, we will make our way out for the day. Lots of people up here um, picnicking. Great place to have a picnic. Great place to hang out. And um, it's starting to get busier as uh, 2 o'clock rolls around. Which is the time that the festival will, uh, will, start, will kick off. I am going to turn my phone around. I want to show you guys the beauty up here of this park. As well as uh, the main stage. And I will be back with another episode. Um, later on this week, but tonight, Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, who's on? I'll be on. My page, PTSD, The Truth Behind a Smile. I'll be doing my live Facebook segment that I normally do every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So watch me there tonight, Tuesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Facebook page, PTSD, The Truth Behind a Smile. Catch me there and catch me over on Bunker Gear for Your Brain on Friday nights. I will be uh, airing another episode of Frenchie's Nook over there. And I uh, hope you guys have an all great day. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, pop-up post. I am going to uh, turn this camera around. Give you guys a look at what, uh, what beauty it is here. And then uh, we'll touch base later. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Stratford Festival Theatre. Main stage. This is the big one. There will be uh, opening ceremonies here really soon where uh, a lot of big wigs and a lot of uh, actors and actresses come out for a big gala tonight. And uh, that's it, that's the Stratford Festival. 
This itself is Upper Queens Park. You can't get a good view of it over there, but uh, this place is huge. Benches and memorial of different people all over the place. Great park. Relax, picnic. Bunch of picnic areas further down that way. Um, live bands every Sunday in the summer over on the band shell over there. It's a great place. Great place to live, especially if you uh, enjoy getting out and doing things outside. So I am going to take off now. Once again, thanks for joining me on this uh, pop-up episode of Frenchie's Nook. And uh, join me all tonight at 9 o'clock on my Facebook page, PTSD, The Truth Behind a Smile. And I will air another episode on Thursday night at the same time. And you will catch my next Frenchie's Nook episode on Friday over on uh, Bunker Gear for Your Brain at 9.30. Once again, get outside, enjoy the day, and uh, we'll talk to everybody soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.